How's it going everybody? I'm Ursaday X and uh, I know that I did a throwback video like on my birthday and it was four packs of junk or four packs of mystery of the fossil and I now have eight. Well, I had uh, the opportunity once again to get these packs at just about $11 a piece and I took the opportunity again. Um, this time I went ahead and bought eight. Uh, last time we did pull a double, I believe it was the Lapras that we pulled a second one of. We also pulled the Gengar, Haunter, and the Moltres. This year, 2019, I'm recording this in December, uh, December 20th. Wow, it's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas when I'm recording this, but it, it, it's well into 2019. Um, by the time you're watching this, I, in 2019, I want to attempt to grade the entire set of Mystery of the Fossil. There's... Uh, a couple that there's there, there's a couple that still have none graded as, as gym intense whatsoever so I'm, I'm thinking those might need to go away first um, uh, actually on the pack here omanite is one of them golem is another one and I am going to attempt to complete the gym intense set here in 2019 well, send them away in 2019, because if I send them away in November as like the final few, or November ends up being like the, these came back as nines, I need to still send them away for, for tens. Um, that's probably what November is going to be, but I'm going to attempt that, and that means I need hollows. There's, there's 16 hollows. Um, Aerodactyl, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos. Uh, you have Haunter, Gengar, Muck, Hypno, Raichu, um, Mew, Dragonite, Kabutops, I'm missing four, <laughs> but Lapras, Ditto, just, can't think of the other two. Um, and I've got I've got a few of them, but hopefully we'll pull either either or both Mew and Dragonite in one of these packs. If we get Mew, that is the big one. That is the big one. That is the money card that we uh, now don't now no longer have to uh, pull or buy separately. So let me get my scissors and we'll be good to go. I'm never prepared when it comes to these videos. I have all my sleeves and everything, but there's always, I always forget something because I'm so excited to open these packs. And we're gonna do it the same way that we that we have in the last few uh, videos. I'm going to take out the hollow, sleeve it up, put it in the top loader, and put it face down. Then we'll go through all eight hollows at the end of the video. And here we go. We're in. Um, flip it over because we don't want to see what hollow we have. I don't actually have my sleeves ready, so I have to set it down. You can still see that I have it face down there. Oh. The back of this card is off centered. If you take a look here, that is an off-centered back. That is unfortunate. Let's hope this isn't the Mew. Okay, let me get my top loaders out here. Because although I had everything on my desk because I just did the uh, tag bolt, tag volt, whatever it was, uh, last night, I did kind of store things away, but there we go. Card one. I'll put the sleeves, or the, uh, those up top. Okay. So now, we have a Kabuto, 
a Zubat. We've already seen all of these that we can go through, but uh, for somebody that this may be the first video, we're going to go through these slowly because these are still throwbacks. These are still amazing cards to go through. And I'm so happy and so lucky that I have a chance to go through these. There's another Arbok. Remember, we got an Arbok on my birthday that had the top uh, heavily damaged. There's the Omanite that there's none graded of. Uh, as, as a gym in 10 at least. So I may, I may have to send a couple away of the Omanites at a time. That would be, that would be ideal to attempt to get a gym mint 10 of it. Okay, uh, and this one, the back is much better centered, much better. Psyduck, the Cloister. I still think it's awesome how they have the like two pulse waves or psi waves, whatever, um, coming out of the two ends there. Shelter and Cloister together. Why do I feel like I didn't pull the Shelter before? That, I don't know why I don't remember that artwork. Um, I mean, I'm talking about in the last recording. Ah, Cedra. We haven't pulled that at all. That Cedra is actually one that I was looking for. The Geodude. The Geodude I was actually looking for as well. Because one of the, the, the last Geodude that I got, that I pulled, was um, very... Very off centered. Once again, this back looks good. This back looks pretty well centered. Three. Grimer. There's the Shelter again. Another Cedra. I like it. I like it. Krabby. We're getting one of these in every single pack. Golduck. Psyduck together. Ekans. That's one that, uh. I, I don't remember seeing in the last recording either. So here we're about to be halfway done. And as soon as we're done here, I gotta get ready to go to work. And I show you guys the uh, inside of the packs just so that you can see that I'm not, you know, tricking you or anything as well. There's a lot of people out there that believe that uh, if anything goes off screen or it's not shown, it's fake. And none of this here is fake. So there's halfway right there. Ooh, Sand Slash. I'm gonna put Sand Slash to the side. Golem. This is one of those ones that has no Gem Mint 10s currently. Let's put that to the side. Omastar. The Fossils. I don't, I, recycle. Pokemon Recycle. Something. I don't know. Tentacool. Grimer. There's the Slowpoke that I love so much just because it's so simplistic. It, it's just, it is the perfect way to represent Slowpoke. You can put that art into um, one of today's sets and 
a lot of people won't recognize it as coming out of fossil they'll just be like that is amazing new art you know good job to to the artist for coming up with it like no that's actually old oh did i actually pull just enough sleeves i might have pulled one i might be one short on how many sleeves that i pulled out Another Zubat, another tentacle. Here's a slow bro. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Another Geodude, another Golduck, Shelder, Mysterious Fossil, and another Seedra. We are getting uh, a lot of these cards that we 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 really did need. Um. And we, we're, we're getting plenty to be able to send in to PSA, which I am so happy about. Um, after I get my um, Gem Mint 10 set, any leftover cards I will be putting up on uh, eBay or if anybody wants them and they're, you know, offering to, to pay a few dollars. That's always something that I'm down for, um, but that, that's of course probably going to be closer to 2020 after I get my Gem Mint 10 set. Here's the Cedra. Um, funny thing is, the first I think I said this before, the first time that I opened up a Mystery of the Fossil pack, I went on to PSA to take a look and Horsey had no Gem Mint 10s graded. Since then there's one. So, missed the boat on that one at least. Still Golem though. <laughs> and Golem and Omanite. Oma Geodude. Golbat. Look at that Golbat. If you remember, my first old pack that I opened was a uh, Rocket Gang or Team Rocket. And the hollow that we pulled out of that was the Dark Golbat. So, um,. On top of that, Golbat is number 42. It's Pokemon number 42. Back then, these Japanese sets did not have set numbers. They didn't have set numbers till uh, till Neo, I believe. Um, maybe Jim, maybe the Jim series. I don't know, but um, 42 is my number. It's my favorite number, and so. Golbat has a has a special place in my heart just, just for that those those couple of reasons. So Golbat, good on you. Grimer, Shelder, Cedra, Gambler's Dice, Tentacool, and Mr. Fuji. I love that. I love that Pikachu. It's so fat. Uh, I pulled, yes, I pulled one short. The backs of these, except for the first one, look amazing. That first one is a bit off-centered, so I really hope that's not a Dragonite or a Mew. But with my luck, it will be. Um, there's seven, and then there's one more after this. There's Kabuto. Uh, Zubat. Slowbro, Grimer, Shelder, Cedra, Omanite, and Gold. Look, together we got both the uh, ones that have no gem and tens. Last pack, Magic. And yes, I really do kiss the packs. Like almost every time that I do a uh, last pack Magic thing. those up there 
I'm actually going to set that card there. You can see it's still in, in the frame. Because I need to get out one more sleeve. This back may be a little bit off-centered as well. But not, not like the first one. Not like that first one. No, no, no. Um, I, I imagine we're going to get four new cards and four doubles out of this. Uh, no, no, no. We still have to go through the last pack. Psyduck. Weezing. That's one we haven't pulled today. Zubat. With uh, what looks to be a little bit of a misprint. Black mark up at the top. Yeah, that's actually on the card. This, oh, there's a second one. I'm gonna drop that real quick. Magmar, we haven't pulled Magmar today yet. So let me grab another Zubat. Yeah, those, those black marks are not on the regular Zubat. And I can't, I can't pull them off or anything. Shut it. Oh, it's, it's my coworker. I have to pick him up taking work today. There's, so you see the two little black marks next to the wings, each wing. They're not on this other Zubat. So this might actually be the Zubat I send in, or I might send in both of these. Um, I'm actually going to sleeve this one up just because... If I can get a misprinted one of some kind, like these just little black marks, and um, get a Gem Mint 10 off of it, uh, that's a lot more meaningful to me than just getting a, like, you know, uh, just a regular everyday one, because then that make that, th those, those two little black marks make this card incredibly unique. And it's not granted saying that, it's not me saying like, this is a Jim Min 10 card. Um, with little misprints like that, they could mark off for it. Which is why I was saying, you know, I might send in both Zubats together. Um, I might not, I might just send this one in by itself. When they take a look at this one and that one, um, if they look at both of them, they go, wait, 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 what are these two black marks on it? They might be more likely to say, hey, there's something wrong with this card and mark it off. Versus if I send them in separately, They'll see this, they'll kind of see the black marks, they'll be like, well, you know, it's on there, it's whatever. So um, let's let's still give it a gem mint 10. But let's go ahead and go through these. Let's just pull from the bottom and go from there. Articuno. So this is the uh, off-centered back. Um, on you know, just it's much thicker on this side from the red line over, especially you can tell at the bottom. Um, but that is a gorgeous card. So we have an Articuno. Let's get the sleeves out of the way. Get the top loaders out of the way. We have so that's one new card. Got it. It is mad off-centered up here at the top, though. It is mad off-centered. I might. I'm still sending that Mew in, hoping to get a uh, a nine OC on it. A Hitmonlee. That's three new cards. All of these seem to be mad off-center. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, all the hollows that I pull anyways, whether they're messed up or not, even that Articuno, it's going to PSA. So there we go. Three out of three new cards. Four out of four new cards. Muck. Hmm. 
No way. This one, this one's just as off-centered as the other one. But we pulled two Mews. That is, that doubling up is the best doubling up you can get. If we can just get a Dragonite out of one of these last three. Dude, no, 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 no. There's no way. We got the two we got the two money cards. We got another haunter. Haunter looks so nice. So we've got two double ups, one of them being Mew, which is the card to double up on. And for anybody that's coming in here, they know the English set and they say, how'd you pull Mew? Mew isn't in fossil. It's a promo. Mew in the Japanese set is in Fossil. It was then taken out, um, I think, to make it like an easy 15 and then easy 30 on hollow non-hollows, um, and then given a hollow and non-hollow variant in the um, Black Star promos. So those are th those are correct to being in in this in this set. And a second ditto. Okay, so. Let's go ahead, put this in how exciting it is order. So, the two Mew pulls. So this was the first one we pulled. This one has no spiral, but this second one, there's a spiral right in the middle of Mew. If one, if only one of these can get a Gem Mint 10, that one. So we got two Mews. We got Dragonite with no spirals, but still Dragonite is Dragonite, especially in this set. Articuno with the mad off-centered back. Uh, out of any of them that I believe would get a 9 OC, it's going to be the Articuno. All of these seem to be mad off-centered to me, but that's that's me probably just being overly vigilant on it. Uh, Hitmonlee. Muck. Hitmonlee was one of those two that I, I, I couldn't remember, too. We, and then our two doubles from the last couple of times that we've done these, Haunter and Ditto. <sighs> I think the Muse are going away in uh, January. Maybe, maybe the Muse and the Dragonite, but we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so very much. Best luck to you guys. This kind of luck to you guys. I'm out.